Okay, so we have some big tournaments today. We've got this 525, which we're actually sitting on quite a big stack. 25,000 chips is starting stack. We've got this uh, 1.5k monster stack, which is a ring event. It's going to be a big prize in this one, which is the main tournament we want to run well in. We've also got this 1k uh, just normal Thursday tournament. We are also sitting just over a 2x starting stack in this one. And then I, I do have some other smaller tournaments, but then the last tournament I'll be showing is this 150 Thursday throwdown. If we get a shove from this 10 big blind stack, definitely cool off with 9-8 suited. Uh, we just get folds over on this table. So I opened up the, the ace-8 and we get a cutoff call. I don't think we have any interest in bluffing this one. Like We're gonna have to use huge sizings to actually push off anything. He's gonna have a lot of like eight, seven, sixes, some sets in his range. He's gonna have king jacks, queen jacks. So ace eight suited here isn't a hand that I wanna be bluffing with. And we still have some possible showdown. Like if he has a, a king queen, it, it's possible. He just wants this to go to showdown, but we're just gonna fold, get out of the way of this, yeah. In the, the 150, queens. Really good flop. I don't mind having some checks. Probably prefer checking with like aces though. If he calls this, I'm just gonna check turn and he's gonna just shove all his like eights, nines for protection, but he shoves anyway, makes the job easier for us. Yeah, nines. Right, so we don't wanna see uh, a nine. Could be a nine, it's green. Oh no, oh no, that's a queen, all good. Get a bounty and we're sitting over 2x starting stack now. We call the ace three. Oh, let's go, let's hope he has ace king. He checks back. So I feel very safe from flush draws. He can have checks back with flush, with flush draws, but I generally expect him to, like most people generally bet their flush draws on the flop. I'm expecting this to be uh, kings, queens, jacks. Okay, so the straight gets there now. I think this definitely just warrants a block sizing now. Hope to get looked up off kings, queens, jacks. Maybe some, some check backs with an ace. He calls, should be ahead. Really? Gets on the turn. Ace nine suited. We're gonna call from the button. Can mix in like an, an occasional raise as well with some of your ace x suited. Flop top pair, but it's a very scary board. And big blind is gonna have quite a bit that hits, quite a lot of nutted hands. I am gonna go for a 75% sizing. Hope to just push off a lot. If big blind raises, it might even be, okay, he folds, but it might even be the point where we literally just fold to any raise. Oh, so under the gun, he just calls and he's gonna have a lot of call, cool, like his kings, queens, all that sort of stuff isn't gonna love this board and he's probably just gonna call the flop. So now I definitely like uh, pot in this one. If we run into a pocket fives or, or pocket eights, then that's just, Bad, bad luck. Okay, so he checks it over. I really do think we're up against a jack, queen, kings, aces, and just pray that it's not pocket tens. I think this just sets us up perfectly for a pot size shove. Come on, don't snap it off, please. Thing is, I'm gonna have shoves with like pocket sevens, pocket sixes, five, six, six, eight suited. And I think we're gonna get a look to hit folds, but I was gonna say, I think we can get looked up a lot with his aces, kings, jacks, whatever. Right, so in the, the 525, up to 6x starting stack now, we have picked up a bounty. Got a few shorter stacks around. If 10 big blind or if uh, Dan Bruski uh, shoves, then snap off with the ace queen. Nice, come on. Gonna have a lot wider shoving range than ace queen as well, so feeling very good about this one. If Petronio went in for this, I would also call because he's gonna ISO with a lot worse than ace queen and yeah definitely don't mind running it you got to take those spots sometimes pocket fives would have rather seen worse ace x okay it's not bad we got the seven now seven nine ace queen give me something come on oh is that seven i think it might be yes nice so we get there through the counterfeit we'll take that 
So pocket aces just in the smaller 150, get a small blind call. Going to be a lot of uh, pocket pairs, suited stuff. Certainly going to be better in this board. I think going for a slightly larger sizing is good here. We do get a call from big blind. Starts leading out. I do still feel quite confident with the aces. I feel less confident now. Although against a block sizing, I have to call, but the way this is played out, I do think he's gonna have a lot of two pairs. Like, I really think this is gonna be a, a seven, six, eight, six. But I mean, block sizing, of course we call with aces. Eight, six, yeah. So we get button, small blind fold. Gonna see some shoves, we do. Never, never aces, just due to a number of different factors. Ace nine, come on, hold. It's looking good. Come on, give us a spade. It's not a spade, it's a club. It's not an ace, let's go. 125 bounty and an extra 20 big blinds. We're running well, we're running very well. So with ace king in this spot, generally ace king offsuit is a hand that likes to be shoved with 30 big blind stacks. But I quite like inducing here. I think it's a nice spot where we're going to see shoves off like ace queens, ace jacks. And is like king queen suited, king jack suited. And yeah, he takes the bait or he just has a big hand. Pocket sevens, okay. Don't mind running it. <sighs> big one to lose. Man, come on. I've been running so well and then we just pick up a big spot. Ah. <sighs> Well, he's cooling off whatever, I suppose, but very annoying. That's a big, big pot to lose at this stage. Wow, big spot in the 1K. We open for under the gun, we get cool, cool, and then shove. He's gonna have all his suited Broadway shoves here. I mean, ace jack or ace queen would be the absolute ideal here, but I expect this to be a lot of tens, nines, eights. Uh, Jack 10. <sighs> unbelievable these 1Ks, how they've been, like, unbelievable. Cool and pockets threes. Wow, this is hell of a flop on the King Queen 3 board because he can have a lot of bluffs on this board as well like that turn card couldn't have asked for a better turn card i'm actually gonna go for like a play that certainly wouldn't be like a gto play but i'm gonna go for like this just small block sizing on the turn and hope that it just like induces some raises because when he's just betting small and then checking it over i really don't see him being particularly strong unfortunately though that river card couldn't get much worse <laughs> I don't think sizing up too much here is actually good because I, I really just think we're up against a, a queen jack or something pretty weak. And I, I kind of just want to get max value. Like when you just sense that your opposition doesn't have anything good whatsoever, then going crazy with the sizings is probably not going to be the most efficient way. Yeah, he just calls at the last second. Yeah, queen jack, we... Uh, called his hand and I think the sizing any more than that he's gonna have a hard time calling down with Queen Jack of Diamonds perhaps my uh, non GTO uh, sizing on the turn didn't necessarily pay off currently ranked 63 hundred paid a lot of short stacks around that we want to be uh, picking up bounties for come on shove calls whack it in mate surely come on and he calls what's going on Oh, this is this is just going five way with kings like really if he shoves then i just call and probably iso over the top of this and just hope not to run into anything stupid this is just yeah he does so i mean i'm hoping just for folds really because it's a very very dangerous board i'm happily going all in with these stacks just the only thing I don't want to run into is if this guy just wakes up for something and I think I just got to shove like it would be very unfortunate if he does but whatever he folds what? 
and we're dead. <laughs> King of Seven. What? <laughs> I mean, I had, you know, a monster pre-flop, but that is a suck out and a half. I cannot complain about that. Also, um, where am I? Uh, here, shipping it in. Ace King. Definitely don't want to be doing anything else other than shove with Ace King off suit in this spot. He's definitely tanking with an Ace Queen. Let's hope he calls. Folds. Potentially a very nice spot here. I suppose we just call the Ace 10. If he shoves and then if this guy shoves, we just have to call off because he's just going to be shoving everything unless he, unless he thinks that I'm trapping, which I mean, I, I am, but it's not as though I've got a monster. And yeah, he calls, he is just gonna be folding. Very confident about this, especially the way he just snap calls. I, I really, I mean, if, if he's trapping, then whatever, but I don't think he is. Yeah, he just snap folds. Nine, eight, come on, let's win this bounty. Good flop with the spades as well. Right, so it's just a nine or eight non-spade. Let's go, $350, come on. In this 1k where we lost all our stack, I really do think shoving with a bounty. I know everyone's gonna say, well, you've got a min raise here, but the thing is people are pushing for bounties and sometimes it can actually just look weaker if I'm just shoving off 14 bigs. I mean, 14 bigs is definitely gonna be like the, the cutoff point. Yes, we get a call, okay. Looks like it's not backfired. He's gonna go in with a lot, like a lot of suited stuff he can call with the bounties. I mean, his random suited stuff more so if our, if we didn't have the min bounties, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he calls. He does, yes go, come on, triple up. Ace five, tens. Oh my God, really? The annoying thing is, like, I post when I'm running good, so it looks like you run good, but honestly, how I've run in 1Ks, I cannot even, like, express how bad it has been. And, like, the 1Ks is the biggest tournament I'm entering. If you're running bad in your biggest tournament, then it's, it's just, it's been so frustrating. It's quite annoying, this table, actually. We've not really got anyone, uh, we, we've got two people shorter than us, but we've not got any shorties at the moment to, to be playing for those bounties. Get a cut-off call. Let's go, come on, a shove, especially from this guy as well. We're ripping this. Whew, big spot in this tournament. What? Just run into kings. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> uh, I actually cannot quite get over these. I know that's not like a bad beat or anything, but... Oh my god, like, honestly, this series, the, the 1Ks plus, has, it's been actually insane. Right, so this guy just blasts it off like he does, just shoving, and we're getting in there with the ace jack. Come on, let's get a triple up and just be back in this. Ace king, ace jack. <laughs> oh god. I mean, I will re-enter, but we're going to be all in in this 1K. Hopefully, we can find a double up. I would have rather just be open shoving, but I still think off 11, ace 8 suited is, is strong enough to go with here. Like, it, it is towards the weaker end of our shoving range in this spot, but I would say it is good enough to go with. He's not going to fold with our, our bounty. King 3, and it's clubs as well. Nice. Good. Up to 25, come on. Oh, tens is the next hand. Could we get two very quick double ups? If we get three bet, then we just rip it with tens. Luis Faria is gonna, he's gonna shove a lot of his pocket pairs, a lot of his suited broadways from this position. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess, a good flop. Problem is, like, we just have the absolute nuts. Like, quite often you're gonna see bigger bets on these type boards but I'm just hoping that this kind of induces him to be check raising some of his, uh... Ooh, 
the nines he should now be leading this turn very heavily and of course we've just got flat like we're never if he leads then with a full house here we, we, we're we're never just raising this spot like this would just be uh awful awful decision to raise here but yeah as predicted he does uh start to lead let's hope he has a nine and uh he runs into a cooler he leaves behind two big blinds <laughs> is he really just bluffing and then we're just gonna uh not pick up his bouncy come on let's hope that he's just doing this with a nine. Oh, he's gonna fold well at least we win the pot anyway yeah, he was bluffing. I kind of expected that when he left a little bit behind. Jack-10 suited. So we've picked up three uh, hands that we can open in a row now. Oh, and we've got him on the, the short stack. I forgot about that. Calls, but 10 egg guy doesn't go in for it anyway. He's probably going to have some wider calls now from the button. So I've kind of got to be careful about putting him on certain ranges, but... Okay, this is a flop where I think I'm just going to be betting this one with the Jack-10. Going to be able to just take this down a lot of the time on the flop. And we can continue blasting off, really. Because we do have a very strong nut advantage on this board. Yeah, with this 9 of spades on the turn, I'm, I'm definitely just blasting off this turn card. Going to pot it. This sizing as well, you're going to fold out pretty much all his flush draws, all his queens, and even like weaker ace x is probably going to be folding. Yeah, good. Get the fold. Probably would have bluffed that river card as well, actually, if you'd have called. I actually think, so this guy's all in, and th some of these guys did call. I actually think with the odds we're getting, with the backdoor equity we have, plus his bounty, I think we can see a, uh, wow. That's a, a pretty interesting turn card. But yeah, I think we can definitely uh, call a flop bet. I have so many outs that I may potentially just like rip this one if he bets again. Because like, we've got like such good equity and with the bounties as well. Yeah, I think I just rip this. Folds anyway. 10-5. Got so many outs. Come on. Green. Yes, it's green. Okay, we get there on the river anyway. Nice, we double get there. <laughs> kind of a shame that this guy didn't call now. Also, massive spot, 525. We have made the money now, but this is a very big spot in this tournament with jacks. Ace 10, come on, just avoid the ace. It's a 10. Queen, okay, so we don't want a jack now. Only a queen or 10 can't be a 10 so big win big win up to 50 blinds now oh that's that's a big spot in this tournament very big one to win i will call due to the fact that he has a big bounty we've got the gut shot off his stack size you're generally going to see a lot of bets so once he checks i do think he's weak and is going to fold out a lot of hands to like a big pot size bet. Like I think this is gonna be a lot of uh, ace kings, ace jacks, ace tens. He calls. I mean, if I did bluff, I guess it would look very much like a seven X ace jack. Wow. Even called his hand, but I thought a pot size would be big enough to push that off, but it appears not. Just gonna uh, call the ace six. We'll start to lead now. He's still going to call with a lot of hands that we beat as well. Yeah, he calls. I think the best way to play this is just check call. I don't see the benefit in just like shoving. Don't think that achieves anything. I think if we check, is he going to bluff this one off? problem we do have is does he bluff the hands that he call and miss like because those sort of calling hands that we beat like his asex do you think they just check back oh this is a tough spot i think we call yes ace king wow what a call that was the kind of thing that i i, I did want to call but the kind of thing that was making me 
debate it is whether he's going to be shoving like his ace kings in that spot because I think a lot of players are going to check their ace kings back there but then again the way I'd play the hand very much looks like a six or perhaps like a five four which he's going to try push off but huge call and that's put us over double in chips now so here we call the queen 10 suited this is, uh, this is a big spot, but I think we just have to run this one, to be honest. Like, we still have very good equity and plays decent multi-way. Ace-King. Yeah, like, we do well against Ace-King still. Oh, I saw the Queen. Queen! Come on! Just no Ace now. It's a nine. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, you do so well against uh, like an ace king, like we have like 40% or whatever. And then against Jax as well. Yeah, I mean, very lucky, but I was complaining about the, the run bad in these 1Ks before, but is this the turning point?